Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a quick message for my Arians, okay? So, Aries, okay? If you have Aries anywhere on your natal chart, whether it be Eastern or Western, this message is for you, all right? And this is going to be for the middle of March to the end of March. So, let us see what the message is for my Aries on today. So, what is the message for Aries? From the middle of March to the end of March. What do we have to say to our Aries spirits? Alright, so two of these came out. First, light and cleansing waters. So yeah, you guys are currently in a process of transitioning your life in many, many ways, okay? But in order to do this, you are... Um, getting rid of old energies, stagnant energies, stale energies, whatever you want to call it, okay? All the above energies. But that's what's happening here so that you guys can move forward in life, all right? Cleansing Water says purification activates vibrant life force, okay? So some of you may even be taking cleansing baths, doing uh, rituals and things like that. Um, some of you may even need to uh, cleanse your area down yonder okay by doing like a steam of some sort or maybe even one of those eggs or pearls okay doing whatever is necessary to get yourself clean in all ways okay gather your life in all ways is what i just heard okay then with the first light here it says beginning a new cycle so that everything may come new what i'm getting is cleansing yourself in your energies of any toxic energy at all so any previous lovers any uh trauma just all of that just cleansing yourself period 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 that's what you guys are working on okay let's get you some more information here for our aries spirit what messages do we have coming through unknown territory all right you guys are going to be um moving forward in your life okay like i said before i, I believe it was what was it? The hidden truth? You guys are going to be moving really soon, okay? A lot of you. So that's what I'm getting with this unknown territory. A lot of you are going to be moving. And when you do move, you're going to be, like I said, starting over. Starting a fresh life for yourself. It's like a clean slate, okay? So you're cleansing so many things about yourself all at once to just be ready for this new energy that's to come, okay? So it says you are exactly where you need to be. Some of you may be worried, um about leaving certain situations on bad terms so spirit suggests that you have certain conversations you know just to get rid of certain outdated energies okay or clear whatever air you can clear or whatever is necessary all right and then we have here embracing enthusiasm and begin now okay underline the energy answering the call and breaking trail so if you guys were like i said concerns about any type of difficulties or unanswered um questions unresolved issues just deal with that move forward like i said cleaning out your closet type of energy is what i'm getting like just taking everything out the closet so that you can move on with your life okay so with embracing enthusiasm it says shout to the heavens with happiness all of these butterflies transformation new life new way of existing okay with this energy here gives me a spring like type vibes okay so spring coming in when you know it's no longer winter but now we have that fresh energy coming in that new year starting okay so that's what i'm getting here and then what begin now take your first step like i said some of you leaving a familiar territory going to where it's unknown okay leaving your family and friends and moving to a faraway place just to uh pretty much do what spirit is asking you to do you may not even be sure what that is because it's, it's just a call on your spirit it's a call on your heart okay for something new for something better for something more and it's nothing that you've ever seen so you know that it's not where you're at okay so it says the time is now okay the time is now with breaking trail that says a breakthrough is at hand so like i said any issues you're worried about um leaving anything behind or leaving anyone behind i feel like you're going to be able to move forward in your life with fresh energy and nobody's going to have ill feelings towards you for doing what's best for yourself okay and those people who may feel some type of way well it is what it is but i don't feel like that's going to stop you from doing what spirit is pulling you to do all right messages for Aries here, spirits. Messages for Aries from now until the end of the month. Messages for Aries from now until the end of the month. Messages for Aries, okay? Messages for Aries. Uh -huh. 
messages for Aries. Messages, okay, you know, let me go nowhere. Messages for Aries, okay, and no more spirits, please, and thank you. We get two more, okay. So, yeah, there is a conversation that you want to have with somebody because of the end of the relationship or because of a separation or whatever is taking place here. Your heart is no longer in a situation with someone because of a certain amount of betrayals or a certain um, inaction that's been taken on this person's part. OK, I feel like maybe you and this person have plans of becoming a thing or moving forward in love or whatever the case may be. And this person was just all talk, no action. I feel like spirit has been talking to you about this, though, for some time. I feel like you intuitively felt like this, but you were trying to see the best in the situation and in the person. So despite what your intuition was telling you, you still tried to hold on to it. But what you ended up finding out was that this person is involved with more than just you. OK, and this is something that you need to verbalize. Now, this person may be, um, maybe they don't know, or maybe they're playing as if they don't know, but I feel like some of you think this person is not aware, and they are aware, okay, of how you really feel, and the fact that you've pulled back a lot, okay, and I get this energy where if this is not them being involved with more than just you, this is you putting your energy from this relationship back onto your friends, back onto, like, partying and things like that not really focusing too much on this relationship or this person anymore okay and i also feel like this could be somebody that some of you have a child with okay that could also be why you tried to hold on to this person in this situation for so long but now you're just trying to take whatever action steps you need to in order to move yourself out of this situation all right also feel here that you're uh, getting kind of hostile with this person but like i said it's because of how you feel all right it could also be because yes this person is involved with other people people and you are envious of that you wanted that person for yourself okay you feel like no matter what you do the situation just won't rectify itself all right is what i'm picking up on but let us pick some tarot cards and see what what's really going on you know let's let's dig that's how i feel about tarot i feel like the oracle they're cute they're fluffy they tell you what's, what's really going around the bit but the tarot is like the meat to uh, you know the meal that's how i feel so let us see. Messages for Aries for the middle of March to the end of March. Let us see. So yeah, I feel like that's why you want to move away. You're just tired of holding yourself back on behalf of whatever this is just to not go anywhere, right? So first card out is strength, okay? So whatever you're doing, you're going to do it with grace, okay? Um, spirit is suggesting that you do not allow this person to see the other side of you, although you are capable, right? Similar to this animal here, has the ability to snap back and snap quickly, right? But um, at the same time, though, you know, that kind of lets the person that you're after know what you're up to know your motives know what you're doing maybe go into this situation with grace and totally just <laughs> knock them on their ass that's you know another thing that could be going on here i'm um, also see here with this king of pentacles in reverse some of you could have been dealing with a uh, earth sign okay virgo taurus or capricorn and i feel like things are not moving forward or progressing with this person with the four of wands in reverse that could have been the person like i said you had a child with or just the person you were uh, making plans with and you just don't feel like this person is working towards stability in that way okay yeah, because we have here the Six of Swords in reverse. I just picked up the way that it fell. Three of Wands in reverse and the Empress in reverse. So I feel like with the Empress in reverse, it's kind of like a person is not valuing the person that you are, does not see you for who you are. I also feel here where this there could be someone who feels smothered, whether it's you or this person. Somebody feels smothered and they're just not verbalizing that, okay? This could also be because you have a child with this person. You are, you know, the, the mother of their child, okay, or children, all right? Three of of wands represents plans or planning um just things taking their time to come to fruition this in reverse is like a person is just giving false hope you know nothing's ever really truly happening is what i'm getting and let's see what else we can pick up on here for our aries this one wanted to jump out yep three of pentacles in reverse lack of cooperation and teamwork and then we have the seven of cups at the bottom so it's kind of like a person just dug a hole for themselves okay and i feel like now it's time for this person to go into that hole all right so if they're trying to make you feel bad aries you shouldn't feel bad at all because this is one of those situations where i feel you've given this person chance after chance and they just keep <clears throat> not showing up for you and this is a soulmate connection so 
<coughs> excuse me, you keep allowing this person to come back into your life. But when you do, it prevents you from being able to heal. Okay. So this is why spirit is, is got this cleansing waters here and all this other stuff. See, we have the three of swords. So it's a heartache. It's something that's very hurtful. Yes. But with the eight of cups here, spirit wants for you to walk away from this person, walk away from this situation. And what else do we have? We also have the double energy here. This could be a karmic situation, but whatever it is, it's extremely toxic. And I feel like the sex could be really, really good, which is another reason why you're staying. I mean, you are Aries. All right. You're a fire sign. You like passion. So the sex could be extremely good, which has a lot to do with why you stay but the chariot in reverse this relationship is not moving forward okay so there's nothing really to look forward to we also have the four of wands in reverse at the um bottom of the deck so yeah if this resonated with you give it a thumbs up okay and if you enjoyed the message give it a thumbs up if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to the channel peace and peace